So the first thing we need to do is install the software onto our computer to make sure our Star Adventure GTI works. Now, all the uh, the info is in the, um, the user manual. However, if you're like me and don't like reading user manuals, you can watch this video and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So let's jump onto the computer and install the software. So in order to get the Skywatcher Star Adventure DTI to work on your PC and uh, through Nina, you just need to head to the Skywatcher uh, website page, head to the support and software and firmware section. Here's a list of uh, software and, and firmware um, programs. So first thing we're going to want is the SynScan app. And we want the SynScan app for Windows. Okay, so this is a uh, Windows uh, version here, but as we can see, it's an experimental version. So for the stable version, see 1.19.0. Uh, so we'll scroll down, scroll down to Windows 1.19.0 and download that. Okay. Um, whenever you're watching this, uh, who knows how far into the future, there will probably be um, updates uh, to this. So um, be aware of that. Once you've downloaded your uh, SynScan Pro app, you want to head to the ASCOM driver and you want to download the ASCOM driver for the SynScan app version or 1.3.0. So I'm pretty sure there might be other versions um, by the time you uh, decide to maybe do this yourself. Okay, and then you want to download that. All right. So once you've downloaded those two um, pieces of software, here's your uh, SynScan uh, ASCOM driver, so I'm just going to accept, next, install, okay, I've already installed this one, so we'll just install it again, uh, and finish, okay, so that's that done. Now you also got to make sure you've got ASCOM um, already on your computer as well. Uh, if you don't have uh, ASCOM, then this uh, here won't work. All right. The another thing we've got to do is unzip our um, SynScan uh, Pro. Our version for Windows, all right. So we need to extract all that because the way it works is that once it's extracted, you go to the folder that it's extracted to, and here it is. Here it's not a uh, program that installs onto your computer, it's just an uh, executable um, file, all right. So I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop and we'll close that down, all right. So we've had uh, we've installed ASCOM. And we've also got our SynScan Pro um, app here. So what we're going to do is uh, double click on that. All right, and it brings us up to our um, SynScan uh, uh, SynScan app. Okay. At this point, it is best to then plug in your um, your Star Adventure GTI. All right. So here's my USB cable. I'm just going to plug that in and. I'm going to turn on the mount. All right, so we're pretty much uh, uh, good to go. So let's switch back to our software and continue on. All right, so the first thing you want to uh, do is go into your settings section. And you're going to go to connect settings. All right, and then you're going to come up the top and hit serial. Okay, so you've got network, emulator, and you want serial. All right. And then you want to connect to the right serial port name. So for me, it's just COM4. I've only got one port. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to come up the top here and you're going to hit connect. Okay. And to quickly recap, we have downloaded our software and we are now connected via our USB port using the SynScan Windows uh, Pro app. So the next stage is to open up Nina and continue on from there. All right, so once Nina uh, has opened up, we're going to head to our telescope. And as we can see here, SynScan app driver is uh, showing, but it may not show for you. It's only showing for me because I've already done this a few times. Um, it might show you no telescope. So we're going to head down to SynScan app driver. Hit connect. And as we can see, we are all connected up. 
ready to go, so I can... Now... Oop. Control... The mount, how cool is that? So now we're all connected up to our mount using Nina. Um, one of the cool things about this is that I'm just using the AA batteries um, powering this mount, I'm not using any other form of power. So the next thing I'm going to do is set my park, or what I'm going to be calling my home position. Now the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI doesn't have any markings or anything like that to let you know, you know exactly where you're, um, uh, where you're sitting with the mount in terms of alignment. Uh, so you're going to have to try and you know get a rough idea on, on what looks pretty, uh, pretty straight. Oops. So we're going to go say some something like that, and that's hoping that's fairly well um, aligned and, and ready to go there. So let's jump on Nina and set its home position. So the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI doesn't have any homing sensors within the mount. So if we want to uh, give ourselves some sort of uh, home position uh, for any sort of advanced sequences that you might do, where you want to finish up this session and have it automatically um, go back into its home position afterwards. Pretty simple, all we need to do is stay on this telescope screen and head to set as park. Now that should take the um, RAN deck and um, lock it in there for its uh, what I'm going to call home position settings. One way we can um, test this out a bit is let's go to our framing wizard here and I'm going to put in um, Eta Car, so Eta Carina, load it up. And we're going to go to a slew. And right now we are slewing to Eta Carina or a version of Eta Carina. Um, obviously, we're definitely not in the right direction here. So now that we've slewed to uh, Eta Carina, and uh, obviously this isn't uh, my photo here at all. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to head to your equipment and our telescope and I'm going to show you the, uh, the park function. So we've set park previous to doing this, so what we're going to do is hit park and the mount itself is going to go back to its original position. So now that we're back in its home position, um, yeah, I keep getting blown away by the portability of this little Skywatcher Star Adventure of GTI and its use being able to uh, be used with programs like uh, Nina. Um, it's just a massive mount in a small little package. So everyone, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. It's given you some answers of, uh, to your questions on whether or not you can use the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI with software like Nina or, and being able to control it through uh, your Windows laptop. I'm pretty sure some of you might be using this with an ASI Air system. I do not have an ASI Air um, Pro uh, computer on me anymore. As, you, as the regular viewers of this channel might know that I've switched to an Intel 4 computer, uh, which is a Windows-based uh, computer. Um, so maybe I might go down a, uh, an ASI Air Pro system later on down the track, um, when mine eventually rise, because again, I just borrowed this for a couple of extra days from Skywatcher Australia. Um, to be able to try and uh, make some of these videos for you guys. That way you've got a bit of an idea um, whether or not straight off the bat you want to go and purchase one of these for yourself. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's it for me. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you've got any questions or if you've uh, got any feedback you want to give uh, maybe Scott Watcher. Um, don't forget just to leave them in the comments below. Alright, oh, and don't forget that subscribe guys every subscribe counts and i very much love your support as well as all my members that have uh, um, joined my channel thank you so much for your support and hopefully we can continue to just grow this channel 
in uh, a lot more sort of review videos uh, like this and some astro imaging sessions. Alright guys, that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you.